x equals 3 times 1.02 raised to the x power. We're asked to graphically solve for where f of x is equal to 6. So we know that we have an exponential increasing function with a y-intercept of 0, 3. It's increasing at a rate of 2%. We're interested in finding the x value that will produce a height of 6 on this graph. We know that will occur somewhere to the right of x equals 0. In order to figure this out on the graphing calculator, we can add a graph of a horizontal line at a height of 6. A horizontal line at a height of 6, that line will go through points such as negative 5, 6, and negative 3, 6, and 0, 6, and somewhere over here it will intersect our function f of x at a height of 6. It will have some x value and it will have a height of 6 because every point on the horizontal line has a height of 6. So in the graphing calculator, we first let y1 equal the function 3 times 1.02 raised to the x power. We then add into y2 the horizontal line y2 equals 6. So in y equals, I let y1 equal the exponential function. I let y2 equal the horizontal line y2 equals 6. I create a viewing window in this problem from negative 10 up to 50 on the x's, and I let the y's go from negative 10 to 10. When you graph this, you do see that point of intersection occurs over in quadrant 1. In order to find that point of intersection, we hit second and then trace in order to access the calculate menu. We're then going to select option 5, intersect. So second, trace, and you see option 5 is intersect. The calculator will ask three questions. It's going to ask first curve. You'll notice your cursor will be sitting on y1. You can tell because up in the left-hand corner it says y1, and it's also you see your cursor is sitting on y1, the exponential function. So it asks you, is this the first curve? And you say yes by pressing enter. It then automatically jumps your cursor to y2. You see in the top left, the left hand, top left hand corner, it says y2 equals 6. And you also see your cursor is now sitting on y2 equals 6. And it asks you, is this the second curve? Yes, it is. So you press enter again. Lastly, it asks for a guess. It wants a guess as to where this intersection point occurs approximately. You can move your cursor over to that point of intersection and press enter. So you say guess and you press enter. And it says on the bottom of the screen that the intersection occurs at approximately x is 35.0028. The point of intersection is 35.0028 comma 6, so f of x is equal to 6 when x is approximately 35.0028.